It says, what is the learning phase on meta ads and why is it important? So the learning phase on an ad typically means you want to get 50 interactions of what you're trying to do, whether that's click throughs to your website, whether that's conversion, whatever. The first 50 of those Facebook or meta, I keep saying Facebook, sorry, meta is learning what is working. It's learning who's converting and it's getting smarter with every conversion, with every click through, with every video view, whatever it is, meta is actually using that data to get smarter and it gets better and better and better. So as you go through those first 50 interactions, it's learning more and more and, I, and hopefully getting better as it's doing that. So the reason that's important is you don't want to cut your ads too short. Like let's say you just, you have a very tight budget. You want to run your ads for three days and it doesn't even give them a chance to get over 50 click throughs or something like that. The problem with that is you, you really haven't given your chance, your ad a chance to work at the optimal level because you never got out of the learning phase. So one of the things we've done with some of our clients is rather than running, like let's say they want to run an ad a week, rather than running an ad a week, if they, if they have a limited budget and we can't get through that learning phase quickly, we've sort of started alternating and running an ad for two weeks, even though we might post in the next week, we're running the ad for two weeks. That gives the ad a chance to get past the learning phase and really have a week or so of really operating at an optimal level where they're let, we're letting the data uh, really do its magic, if you will, and get it in front of the right people. So the reason it's important to get out of learning phase is that's going to allow your ad to run at the optimal level and use the data and all that content that Facebook and Meta has to get you the best results. So Rather than if you have an ad that's really working and you've been running it for a while and it's still working, I would advise you all, I would continue to post fresh content on your page so it doesn't look like your page is stale. But if you have an ad that's working and it's continuing to work, my suggestion would be to continue to let that ad work until you see the performance degrade with regard to, because what that's telling me is that the meta algorithm and the metadata is working really well to put your ad in front of the right people so you're getting results. So you don't want to cut that short and start a new ad just because you've been running it for 10 days. At that point in time, the ad might be running at the optimal level. So continue to ride that ad until you start seeing a degradation in the performance. So hopefully that helps with that. I know we only have a couple minutes left and Ronnie had asked a question I want to get to. It says, what about Yelp as far as advertising? Uh, here's the thing with Yelp, Ronnie. In certain areas of the country, people swear by Yelp. In other areas of the country, they think it's a, a huge ripoff. I will say that one of the things I've found, and I, I, I certainly wouldn't say that this is written in stone anywhere, but I would always recommend people go and fill out their Yelp profile, the things that you can do for free. Make sure your Yelp profile is filled out for you know, filled out completely and things like that. As far as beginning to pay Yelp, the one thing I, I feel like I've seen in the past, and again, this is just a, you know, this is just not really, it's anecdotal evidence, if you will. It's something that I've, I've seen is that if you start paying Yelp, it seems like you have to continue to pay Yelp to get good results. If you ever want to pull away from Yelp, it seems like your results aren't even as good as they were before you started paying Yelp. So the only caveat I would have with Yelp is if it really works in your area and people are using it and having a lot of success, understand that you're probably tying into something you might have to do on an ongoing basis to continue to get results. I would always recommend that people fill out the, the part of their Yelp profile and claim their Yelp profile that's free and be active there. You know, if you, re, if you want to reply back to uh, reviews and things like that, definitely do those type of things. As far as going down the road of paying Yelp, I would say, you know, talk to maybe some other people in your particular market of how that's working for them. I will say, like I said, in talking to some of my clients, what they felt like is they were getting better Yelp performance organically or before they were paying for it. Once they started paying for it, they were getting okay. They were getting okay performance then too. But once they backed away from paying for it, they weren't even able to get the performance they were before they started paying for it. So it was almost like once they got started, they kind of had to continue it to continue to get the result. 